Hi, I'm Kevin Corker, and I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Welcome to Go for the Gold. We're thrilled to have you here today. As the parent of three college graduates, I can appreciate what you parents are struggling with, some of the questions that you have. Let me give you all some advice on how to think about the college tour, the college experience. And it harkens back to a movie that I'm guessing many of you have seen dozens of times, the movie Toy Story. I could almost recite it word for word. But in that story, our hero, Woody, is a character that's from a time gone by. He's Andy's favorite toy, but then Andy gets a new toy, Buzz Lightyear, to infinity and beyond. Buzz does all kinds of amazing things, has a laser light, and all of a sudden, Woody becomes the second class toy, the fallen behind, the left in the box toy. How, what's that have to do with college? Well, Buzz was wonderful as long as he was programmed to do a specific thing and the thing needed from him was a specific thing. But you'll remember in the movie, along came Sid, the next door neighbor, who Buzz was not programmed to deal with. And he captured Buzz and was tormenting Buzz. How did Woody respond? Woody responded with critical thinking by getting a diverse group of toys together. You remember Mr. Potato Head, T-Rex, Little Bo Peep, brought them together and capitalized on their talents and skills because he recognized how to bring a group together. It was in the face of that novel situation that Woody's true value came through and Buzz's limitations came through. Now obviously, life is more complicated than a children's movie. But the key takeaway there is, there are fundamental skills that carry us into novel situations. And we've certainly had our share of novel situations over the last few months. Those skills like creativity, like teamwork, being able to bring people together. One of the things that happens if you fast forward to the end of Toy Story 3, Andy is giving Woody away to a little girl named Bonnie as Andy prepares to go to college. And one of the things he says is, he's loyal and brave like a good cowboy should be. But one of the things about Woody is, he will never give up on you. He'll always be there for you. That's a college education. That's the value of a college education. So as you hear about the various majors in the College of Arts and Sciences, what I'd encourage you to focus on are what are the skills that are lifelong skills that will carry you through in your role as a citizen in the community, as a member of your church's advisory board or a nonprofit, as well as in the workplace. Because an arts and sciences degree not only prepares you for that first job, it prepares you for the last job and every job in between. So I'll just tell you one last thing. We have partnered with Career Services to match the skills that students learn in classes with the skills that employers are looking for and help our students to articulate what those skills are that they're learning. Articulate them in resumes. Articulate them in job interviews. And build on them as they move into the workforce. This is a great time to be a college student. It's a great time to be an arts and sciences student. Please be good students today as you hear about other majors, and good luck in the search. Thanks. Whether pursuing a major or minor, or even just taking courses in the College of Arts and Sciences, you are developing essential skills that are highly valued at both the workplace and graduate school. Our FLAGS program helps you understand and connect these essential skills. Let's learn more. The FLAG program is extremely beneficial. As an employer, we can train on technical skills, but we find it difficult to train on transferable skills because those are skills that you learn through experiences. What's nice about the FLAG program is students are capturing those skills that they've learned through the educational experience 
and then applying them to the workplace. The skills and knowledge that you gain throughout your college career extend far beyond those obtained in the classroom. The ability to articulate these strengths during graduate school or employment interviews can make all the difference. The CAS Advantage incorporates flags, fundamental learning outcomes, achievements, and goals as a means to capture the progression of your transferable skills. It allows you to capture and reflect on your experiences and knowledge during your undergraduate experience in order to effectively articulate them on resumes and in interviews. The flags are divided into eight categories. Innovation, creativity and technology, critical thinking and problem solving, communication and listening, diversity and inclusion, career management, teamwork and collaboration, professionalism, work ethic and integrity, and leadership. The FLAGS program prepared me to demonstrate the value of my undergraduate experiences with future graduate schools and employers. Good morning, and welcome to Oakland University. My name is Michaela Gibson, and I am an admissions advisor with Undergraduate Admissions. We are excited that you have chosen to attend our Go for the Go program. I would like to start off by telling you a little bit about Oakland University's history, academic programs, and campus life, in addition to our admissions and scholarship information. Oakland University was founded in 1957 thanks to a $2 million donation by Alfred and Matilda Wilson. We are a young university, which is very exciting because there is room for constant growth. OU is home to over 19,000 students, and more than 3,000 of those students live here on campus. OU also has more than 120,000 alumni worldwide. Nearly 75% of OU's alumni live here in Michigan. Oakland University has a beautiful campus of 1,443 acres and is home to Meadowbrook Hall, one of Michigan's National Historic Landmarks. Also, all of our academic buildings are centrally located on campus for easy access. Oakland University proudly boasts one of the lowest crime rates in Oakland County and the number one safest public university in Michigan and third nationally, partially due to the many safety features in use around campus. There are over 100 blue lights across campus which will connect anyone directly to OUPD dispatch. They also offer text message alerts which will send notifications directly to your phone in the event of an emergency situation on campus. Students and parents are both eligible to receive these and can enroll on OUPD's website. OUPD's officers are also on campus 24-7, 365 days a year. More than 3,000 students live on campus, calling one of the residence halls or apartments home. Hamlin Hall houses first-year students, and Oakview Hall is the newest home to the Honors College. We're excited about the opening of our newest residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, which houses 750 students and has a new cafeteria and a satellite recreation center. We also offer special interest floors, which offer social and academic support. Student involvement plays a large role in the lives of our students. OU offers more than 300 student organizations, including academic, social, Greek, political, and spiritual groups. The university regularly plans trips to fun places like New York, Chicago, or Boston. Our Office for Student Involvement also offers discounted tickets to various events and performances throughout the Metro Detroit area. OU has 18 men's and women's varsity sports. OU competes in NCAA Division I athletics as part of the Horizon League. The Golden Grizzlies have brought home 28 regular season titles, 77 conference tournament titles, and have made 55 NCAA tournament appearances. For more information, please visit OUGrizzlies.com.
At Oakland, we encourage students to live, study, or work within a different culture through more than 180 study abroad programs in over 40 countries. For example, our students studying a concentration in archaeology can travel to Israel to see historic and religious sites that were covered in class, participate in an archaeological dig, and conduct groundbreaking research. Oakland offers 140 undergraduate programs and more than 130 graduate and certificate programs. These are divided into several professional schools and one liberal arts and science college. Please refer to oakland.edu backslash academics for more information. The College of Arts and Sciences is comprised of a variety of academic departments devoted to teaching and researching liberal arts, including the humanities, social sciences, visual and performing arts, and mathematical and laboratory sciences. The college offers nearly 100 majors and a wide range of diverse disciplines, such as actuarial science, graphic design, biomedical sciences, cinema studies, criminal justice, environmental studies, international relations, social work, and world music, as well as more traditional disciplines such as chemistry, English, history, philosophy, and psychology to enhance and complement their primary focus. Faculty in the college offer students opportunities for creative endeavors, research, and educational exploration that transcend the typical classroom experience and prepare students for a rich, productive life. It is not our mission to train you for a single job, but instead to prepare you to be successful in life, in your first job, your last job, and every job in between. We accomplish this by assisting you to develop transferable skills that remain critically in demand even in the face of technological advancements and social change. Through the transfer and construction of a knowledge base and through the cultivation of the habits of the mind, our graduates develop and mature into successful, productive members of society who can appreciate others, experience and embrace the notion of empathy, discover meaningful and productive careers, and come to understand the joys and benefits of lifelong learning. Whether you're deciding on a major or still exploring your options, the First Year Advising Center provides academic advising for all first year students, students who are undecided or redeciding their majors past the first year, as well as undecided transfer students. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful resources and tools to assist you in developing a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and future career goals. The Honors College offers a unique environment for high achieving students through smaller class sizes and special topic general education courses, as well as giving graduating seniors the opportunity to complete a thesis on a topic of their choosing. In response to the current COVID-19 pandemic, the Honors College has opted into test optional admissions for the entering class of the fall 2021 for students with a GPA of a 3.7 or above. Those students with above a 3.3 GPA must complete a separate application in addition to an interview for consideration. OU Presidential Scholar Award recipients are automatically accepted into the Honors College. Of course, all undergraduate majors are welcome to apply to this challenging, unique environment for high achieving students. The Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine welcomed its 10th class in the fall of 2020. Students receive instruction in basic sciences and research at OU and take part in clinical training and applied research at Beaumont Health System. The school is a member of an elite group, one of just 141 MD granting medical schools in the country.
Nursing Direct Admit is one of OU's academically competitive programs. A limited number of entering freshmen will be offered direct admission into Oakland University School of Nursing basic BSN track. Students interested in attending OU in the fall should apply to the university and submit a required essay by November 1st of their senior year to be considered for the direct admit nursing program. To be considered for OU's business honors direct admit program, you must gain admission and complete a supplemental application. Although, we do recommend that you have your application in by December 1st of your senior year of high school. And as I mentioned earlier, students wishing to study in the Department of Music, Theater, and Dance must gain admission to the university, then apply for an audition within the department. Students applying for the fall of 2021 can find audition dates online at oakland.edu edu backslash smtd. I'd now like to walk you through the process of applying to Oakland University. Applying is easy and the application is found online at oakland.edu backslash apply. The application is free and we are currently accepting applications for the winter, summer, and fall semesters of 2021. The average incoming freshman has a 3.5 GPA and a score of 1130 on the SAT or a score of 25 on the ACT. Typically, OU will admit first year students with a 2.5 cumulative grade point average. For the fall of 2021, we have temporarily shifted to test optional admission in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. SAT and ACT scores are not required for admission consideration for fall 2021. Students are still encouraged to send test scores if and when they have them for course placement or additional scholarship consideration. The test optional policy is under review for the class of 2022 and beyond. Our average incoming transfer student has a 3.1 GPA. Generally, transfer students with college credits of 24 or more and a 2.5 GPA or higher are admitted. Transfer students must submit all transcripts from every college they have attended. However, transfer students with fewer than 24 credits must also submit their high school transcripts. Scholarship consideration at OU is automatic. There is no separate application for merit scholarships. To receive fall scholarship consideration, we recommend that incoming freshman students apply and have all materials submitted to OU by March 1st of their senior year of high school. While scholarship consideration is based upon your cumulative grade point average and test score at the time of admission, students are welcome to submit updated transcripts and test scores to be reconsidered for scholarships. This chart shows our scholarship offerings for incoming freshmen. All of these are merit-based, awarded based on your GPA and test scores, except for the University Recognition Award, where no test score is required. You can find your GPA on the left and match it with your highest test score to find the scholarship you qualify for. Transfers should apply by August 1st for fall scholarship consideration, December 1st for winter, and July 1st for summer. Transfer scholarship consideration is also based upon the student's cumulative grade point average at the time of admission. Currently, tuition is based upon class standing, course, and course level. Different tuition rates also apply to courses offered by the School of Health Sciences, School of Business Administration, School of Nursing, and the School of Engineering and Computer Science, regardless of major. For more specific information and to view the rates by course and course level, please refer to the information in your bag or visit oakland.edu backslash tuition. University housing offers a variety of living options suited to your individual needs and interests. Housing rates for a double occupancy room for the 2020-2021 
fall and winter semesters combined start at $10,639. More detailed information on housing and tuition rates can be found on the tuition rates flyer in your bag. For all newly admitted students planning to attend OU, we encourage you to activate your account if you haven't already. Activating your account will allow you to choose your net ID, which will act as your OU email. If you have been offered any merit scholarships, you will want to accept those by going to oakland.edu backslash scholar accept. Additionally, all admitted students are encouraged to register for new student orientation. Registration is available online at oakland.edu backslash orientation to lock in your spot in our incoming class. For those students attending OU in the fall of 2021, applications for housing are now available. Students may apply at oakland.edu backslash housing backslash apply. For students starting at OU in the winter of 2022, applications to live on campus are available beginning November 1st. I would also like to stress the importance of the financial aid process. To be considered for financial aid, students must complete the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. The form is available every year beginning October 1st and can be completed at FAFSA.gov. Additionally, for those students who have yet to take the SAT or for those still planning to retake the test and are looking to improve their scores for scholarship consideration, we would like to remind you that the Khan Academy offers free SAT preparation for students. Finally, if there is any information that you saw today that you would like to learn more about, you may refer to the reminder email and you'll find all of our digital materials there for you to browse at any time. I would like to thank each and every one of you for visiting with us virtually. And I would also like to encourage you to register for one of our in-person tours to learn even more about the application process as well as our university. You may go to oakland.edu backslash visit to see availability for daily campus tours as well as other virtual events. At this time, we will move on to the next presentation. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Gregory Ash, and I'm a Senior Financial Aid Outreach Advisor with Student Financial Services. I'm happy to be here with you today to share some information about financial aid at Oakland University and answer any questions you might have. Today, I'll talk about costs to consider when attending college, how to apply for financial aid from a variety of sources, and the types of aid you will be eligible to receive from Oakland University, the state and federal governments, as well as private resources. Please feel free to submit your questions during the presentation, and I'll take some time at the end to answer them for you. When attending college, there are many costs to consider. Oakland prides itself on being a fee-free institution so the only billable charges you'll have are tuition and housing if you choose to live on campus. Even the laundry and toilet paper and housing are free. You should also expect to have expenses related to your education, but not billed directly by Oakland University, such as books, living off campus or at home, transportation, and living expenses. When Student Financial Services is preparing your financial aid offer, we estimate these billable charges and non-billable expenses, then add them together to determine the cost of attendance. Financial aid is intended to provide you options to pay for your billable charges and help to pay for your non-billable expenses. So the cost of attendance is the maximum amount of financial aid you are offered. In order to pay for college, students can be eligible for financial aid including scholarships, grants, work study, and loans. In order to apply for financial aid, students should complete the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. Most financial aid requires the FAFSA, and when we say file early, we mean it. The FAFSA should be completed beginning October 1st, or shortly thereafter, of the student's senior year of high school. 
Some financial aid is offered on a first come, first serve basis. One of the reasons we recommend filing the FAFSA when it becomes available October 1st to apply for the next school year. You can file the FAFSA electronically on fafsa.gov or using the My Student Aid app available for iOS and Android devices. If you have your phone or tablet handy, you can open your camera and point it at the QR code for whichever operating system you use. A banner will open when you can download the app. While there is a paper application for FAFSA, it is recommended you file electronically for a variety of reasons. Filing the FAFSA electronically is much faster for, to process. It takes just three to five days, and there are a number of security measures taken to ensure your information remains private, such as the data retrieval tool, which allows most users to upload their tax information right from the IRS website. The electronic FAFSA is also shorter and much more relevant to your household because it uses skip logic to eliminate questions that no longer apply to you based on the questions you've already answered. If you need help completing the FAFSA, Student Financial Services offers free private appointments for anyone who needs help completing the application. Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions automatically awards OU merit-based scholarships through the admissions process so no additional applications are required. Student Financial Services automatically awards our need-based grants when processing the FAFSA. Every student who qualifies for scholarships and grants is guaranteed to receive the award. We are not limited to the number of students who receive the award. Annual departmental scholarships are also available through Oakland University Academic and Student Services Department. For application and selection, beginning due the student's first year. Oakland University offers a number of need-based grants available to students who complete the FAFSA and meet certain eligibility criteria. The Golden Grizzly Tuition Guarantee Grant is offered to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with the expected family contribution of less than $8,000 as determined by the FAFSA. The award pays the remaining amount of tuition due after subtracting the amount of the expected family contribution and any other gift aid. This award is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. The OU Golden Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It is awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. The OU Housing Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. Students who receive the Housing Grant must live on campus with housing charges for a full semester that are not covered by another housing award. Student employment is also available at OU and may be part of the student's financial aid offer if they receive a work-study grant. Work-study and non-work-study positions are available at OU and the university employs about 1,600 student employees each year. Students are paid at least minimum wage. However, some positions pay more. Students are limited to a maximum of 25 hours per week during the fall and winter semesters. Students can work up to 40 hours per week when classes are not in session and during the summer semester. On campus and local jobs are posted on OU Handshake, a platform that will grow with the student over time. Students can use Handshake to also apply for internships in their later years at OU as well as professional positions when they graduate. The federal government offers financial aid to students, including grants, work study, student and parent loans. Some grants are offered on a first come first serve basis, like the SEOG and work study grants. One of the reasons it is important to complete the FAFSA as soon as possible on October 1st, the federal government also offers student loans, awarded to the student in the student's name only. 
parents are not co-signers for federal loans. The subsidized loan is interest-free while the student is in school, and the unsubsidized loan accrues interest while the student is in school. Neither loan requires payment until six months after graduation. However, there is no penalty for each repayment. A Parent PLUS loan may also be offered for parents to borrow in their own name. It is a credit worthy loan, so if you're approved and want to use it, you can. But if you're denied, the student gets an additional amount of an unsubsidized loan in their own name. It is an opportunity to receive additional federal aid without going to a bank or a private lender, which is, is often a more expensive option for student. The state of Michigan also provides financial aid to students and requires the FAFSA to be completed no later than March 1st in the student's senior year. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship is awarded automatically to students who complete the FAFSA and achieve a 1200 or better on the SAT. The other awards offered by the state require an application, which is available through the My SSG student account. Students can create their my SSG student account after they file their first FAFSA. Private scholarships are also available through organizations, foundations, and companies, and students are encouraged to begin applying for these scholarships in the junior year. Students should apply regularly until they graduate from college to increase their chances to receive a greater number of scholarships. College Board, FastWeb, and Good Call are some of the many scholarship search engines students can use to apply for private scholarships. It is also a great idea to check with the high school counseling office for local scholarships aimed at students in the school or community. Some students may also have personal resources like a MET or an MESP or other college savings plans to help them pay for their education expenses. OU is proud to offer payment plans for students who choose to pay all or a portion of their charges on their own. Payment plans are available each semester a student attends to divide payments into four equal payments. Payment plans are interest free and students can easily pay with a checking or savings account. Credit and debit cards are also accepted and students are encouraged to schedule their payments to pay automatically each month. I hope you feel better prepared for the cost associated with college and more familiar with the financial aid available to you. To prepare for paying for college, there are a few things you can do even now. If you'd like to learn more about the financial aid process, please join me for a virtual financial aid presentation. Visit oakland.edu forward slash financial events for the schedule and link to join. Students and parents can visit studentaid.gov to create an FSA ID necessary to access and complete the FAFSA. Make sure you apply for private scholarships regularly to increase the number of scholarships you will use to pay for your education. Finally, make sure you file the FAFSA beginning October 1st of your senior year and every year thereafter. If you have questions after today, please contact Student Financial Services to speak with an advisor. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and are currently taking phone calls remotely. You can also visit our website at oakland.edu forward slash financial services where all of the information in this presentation is also available. You're also welcome to email our office at finservices at oakland.edu. Thank you again for attending our virtual Go for the Gold event today. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Let's learn about women and gender studies from Dr. Amy Harbin. Welcome. This is a presentation about women and gender studies at Oakland University. And I want to tell you a little bit about what we study in our program, what some of our degree options are, um, what some of our students go on to do with their degrees, and ways to get in touch. 
So if you're interested in issues related to diversity, to gender, to sexuality, to race, or to disability, you might be interested in women and gender studies. In general, the focus of women and gender studies is thinking about the importance of diversity in our current world, both in the U.S. and globally. At Oakland University, we offer the following degree options. We have a major in women and gender studies, a minor in women and gender studies, and a brand new minor in LGBTQ studies. You might be wondering what people go on to do with a women and gender studies degree. What we find is that students come in and they often take our introduction to women and gender studies course and they find that they're completely in love with the material. Many people didn't know in high school what women and gender studies was, but they come into Oakland and take that intro WGS class and they find that they love thinking about gender and race and sexuality and all these issues. And so they go on to take one of our degrees. And our alumni have gone on to do amazing work following their, their time at OU. We have alums who are workers at domestic violence shelters. We have counselors, lawyers, juvenile probation officers. We have people who've gone on to grad school in sociology and psychology and even in women and gender studies. One of our alums is a director of admissions and marketing at a K-8 school. Others are working with community organizations for LGBTQ rights, voter rights, and food justice. We even have one of our alums who is a professor of criminal justice back at Oakland. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with a women and gender studies degree. What we say is that it gives you a lens for thinking about diversity, the importance of gender, the importance of race, the importance of sexuality all throughout the world. So really, any organization that's paying attention to these things, which should be all businesses and all organizations, um, graduates of our program would be good fits there. Some of the things we're especially proud of in our program is that it's a relatively small program. We have a small major and minor, which means that the faculty here know all of our students. We know exactly what you're interested in, and we are looking out for you, happy to write reference letters, excited to see um, you placed in good careers after our program. We have excellent faculty from across the university and a real focus on mentorship for our students. We have a couple of things that really help our students succeed, which is, one of which is the internship for all women and gender studies majors and for all LGBTQ studies minors. So this means that we place you in an organization related to your interests out in the community, um, and you do an internship there. And it, in fact, we've seen a number of our graduates go on to get paid work at these organizations um, because of these internships. We also have an independent capstone project for all women and gender studies majors where you develop a project on something that interests you in particular and you work with a faculty member to write a, a research paper on that project. And this is really helpful, looks great on a resume if you're thinking of going into a field involving any research or writing or even on to grad school. You can see some of what our alums have said about the program. Um, Victoria Martinuzzi in 2010 said, my experience at OU has taught me to be a strong, confident, and independent career woman. WGS opened my eyes to the struggles that women, children, and men face every day. So if you're interested in these areas, I would really encourage you to reach out to me. My name is Amy Harbin. I'm the Director of Women and Gender Studies. My email address is aharbin at oakland.edu, and I would be happy to talk to you further. Let's learn more about our Religious Studies program from Dr. Henry Gorin, Director of the program and Anthropology Professor at Oakland University. I'm Henry Gorin. I teach anthropology and I'm also the director of religious studies. Um, check out our website, oakland.edu slash religious studies. Uh, if you're interested in religion, you definitely want to check out religious studies because we look at religion from an academic perspective. Whatever your career is, you're probably going to be dealing with uh, people from different religious backgrounds. So it's important to know a little bit about uh, the main world religions. Um, if you look at our website, again, oakland.edu slash religious studies, you'll see a brochure of all the classes we're offering. We offer Introduction to Religion, World Religious Traditions, and we also offer classes like Introduction to Islam, Introduction to Judaism, and Introduction to Christianity. If you take five of our classes, 20 credits, you already have enough for a minor. We have minors in Christianity Studies, Judaic Studies, and Islamic Studies. If you want to take some more, um, for uh, 28 credits, you already have enough for a concentration. 
and then you can do the whole independent measure, which is 32 credits. So uh, again, if you're thinking about that, look at our website, uh, uh, oakland.edu slash religious studies. Think about the classes we're offering. Um, if you're interested in religion or if your career makes it very important to know about religions. We've noticed over the years that many students are interested in religion, whether they're religious themselves or not at all, there is a huge interest. Uh, but there's also a lack of knowledge, and that's fine because that's why you're in college. So again, we encourage people to take our classes, whether our introduction classes or our upper level classes. Again, check out our website, oglobe.edu slash religious studies, where you'll find brochures of all the classes we're offering, both in fall 2020 and winter 2021. Um, and you can email me if you have more questions, uh, Henry Gorin, last name Gorin, G-O-O-R-E-N, at oglum.edu. Thanks very much. On behalf of the department chair, Joe Rieger, the director of social work, Maria Beam, and myself, the associate chair of the department, George Sanders, we'd like to welcome you to the Department of Sociology, Anthropology, Social Work, and Criminal Justice. Our department offers four different majors, sociology, or the scientific study of society and its institutions, anthropology, which tends to focus on historical and global societal patterns, social work and applied social science oriented around advocating for and helping individuals and groups, and criminal justice, the study of criminal offending, victimization, and processing of offenders by the criminal justice system. Students often major in one of those four areas and then get a minor in another. We offer additional minors and concentrations that we believe help students who wish to hone in on a more specific area so that they can refine their skills and understanding. Within three of our disciplines, students can either choose a standalone major or a major with a concentration. As you can see, there are a wide variety of concentrations to select from. We're particularly excited about our GIS, or Geographic Information System Mapping Minor, that it's in the works, and our forthcoming Masters of Social Work degree program. We're uniquely positioned within the university because of our interdisciplinary approach to social sciences. While each of our disciplines have different labels, we're in fact very much intertwined with one another. All of us are very interested in the ways individuals can make a difference in the world, whether it's in the immediate area, in local communities, or around the globe. Thus, it's not surprising we all share a vision of creating more diverse and inclusive societies. We don't just want our students to understand the roots of inequality. We want to equip them with the tools they need to work towards social justice in our rapidly evolving and increasingly diverse society. We provide many opportunities to engage, serve, and work both on and off campus. Many of our students earn course credits by interning with a wide variety of our community partners. There are additional opportunities to work closely with our faculty through independent studies. And a number of our students also work with professors on faculty research. Others serve as teaching apprentices in classes. And for our archaeology students, there is a field school in which they can participate. Additionally, we're continuously developing new programs and opportunities for our students. We're an outward-facing department, and we work actively in the campus community as well as communities outside of our campus. We have a lot of opportunities, and just to name a few, there are the Pontiac Oral History Project, study abroad opportunities, our newly developed food pantry, and of course, any one of our student clubs or honor societies. Our students go on to succeed in a variety of fields, though most either work in the human services or they go on to pursue a graduate degree. But as you can see from this list, they find employment in an incredibly diverse array of occupations. Many of those jobs are rapidly growing, and there is a high demand for OU grads. Each of our four core disciplines have a designated advisor. They are there to answer questions not only about the kinds of classes to take, but they assist with scheduling to ensure an efficient path toward graduation. They also provide one-on-one -on -one assistance by connecting students with various opportunities to become active in student organizations, professional organizations, and finding different opportunities to meet and socialize with other students and faculty. 
While each of our four advisors work on the front line to provide guidance for students, all of us in the department are open to your questions, to student mentoring, and supporting our students in any way we can. We pride ourselves in our friendly and approachable style, and we're all highly dedicated to promoting student success in whatever paths those students choose to follow. We invite you to explore our department's website for additional details, or feel free to reach out to one of our four advisors or indeed any of our faculty members in the department. We look forward to working with you in the new academic year. Thank you. Philosophy is a great major for many reasons with a surprisingly wide range of applications. So why should you major in philosophy? It's as simple as one, two, three. Philosophy majors actually outscore all other majors in terms of overall performance on the GRE. They also score the highest on the LSAT and the second highest on the GMAT. A major in philosophy is an all-purpose education in reading, writing, and reasoning skills. But above all, philosophy is about logic. And logic, it turns out, is good for everything. Employees in many sectors, including the FTE, or finance, technology, and electronics sectors, know that philosophy majors are smart, logical, and creative. As a result, philosophy majors are broadly employable throughout many growth sectors. By a decade after graduation, philosophy majors earn more than graduates with any other kind of humanities degree. Plus, jobs for philosophy and other humanities majors are often relatively secure jobs. The philosophy faculty here at Oakland University are incredibly well-trained and knowledgeable both as educators and researchers. The department has strengths in applied ethics, philosophy of mind, philosophy of science, and political philosophy. As a bonus, philosophy classes are often interdisciplinary. At Oakland, you'll have the great chance to study with a wide range of great philosophy professors. Let's take a look at our Ethics Bowl team as they compete all around the country. <laughs> Thank you for your interest in political science at Oakland University. My name is Dr. Peter Trumbor and I am professor and chair of the department. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our degree programs, uh, talk a little bit about our faculty, and also highlight some of the opportunities that are available to you as a student in the department. If you have further questions about any of what I'm going to talk about, feel free to contact me uh, at the email address, which you'll find in a couple of different places in the presentation. We have three undergraduate degree programs in the Department of Political Science. The Bachelor of Arts in Political Science is our broadest degree, and it features study of government and politics at every level, from the local to the international. Our Bachelor of Arts in International Relations is a more focused, multidisciplinary program that, while focusing on global politics, includes the study of economics, history, philosophy, and foreign languages. And our Bachelor of Science in Public Administration and Public Policy is designed to prepare students to go directly into uh, the public sector in public service. We have two specializations on the political science side of the curriculum. The first is in campaigns and elections, and this is a focus program of study designed for students interested in careers or graduate study in practical politics, campaign management, lobbying, and so forth. 
The second is courts, justice, and politics. And this is uh, targeted to students who have an interest in a career in the legal field or wish to go on for further study in the law. We also offer two specializations on the international relations side of our programs. The first in foreign affairs and diplomacy is designed for students who have an uh, interest in a career in foreign affairs or international service or wish to pursue graduate study in those areas. The second, global justice and sustainability, is designed for students with an interest in human rights, the nonprofit sector, non-governmental organizations, or international organizations, either careers or graduate study. The political science department participates in a 3 plus 3 program, which gives our majors an accelerated pathway to completing their bachelor's degree and a law degree. And we do this in partnership with uh, Michigan State University, Wayne State University, and University of Detroit Mercy Law Schools. Courses in the political science department are taught by a full-time faculty of 17, not teaching assistants. Many of our faculty are nationally and internationally recognized as experts in their fields. And their areas of expertise span the panoply from all the various aspects of American politics, through the politics of different regions of the world, to broad questions of international politics. The slide here gives you just a brief example of some of these uh, members of our department and their areas of specialty. We are very proud of the student organizations that exist in the political science department. Two that I'd like to highlight here are first, the new Omega chapter of the Pi Sigma Alpha National Political Science Honorary. Our chapter at Oakland University has been named the most outstanding chapter in the country in six of the last seven years. Another one of our student organizations that's worth bragging about is our Oakland University Model United Nations team. This group of students routinely wins top honors at both regional and international Model United Nations competitions. And every year organizes and hosts a Model UN conference on the OU campus for area high school teams. Students in our department have unmatched opportunities to engage in research, both individually on projects of their own interest, but also collaboratively with faculty mentors. Students routinely act as research assistants and even co-authors on members of our department working on research at the highest level of the profession. Our students every year go to research conferences, professional research conferences, both regionally and nationally, to present their own work and to present alongside their faculty mentors. Students in our department have even published independently and as co-authors in peer-reviewed professional academic journals. Students in the political science department have the opportunity to take advantage of several scholarships that the department offers. Our students also routinely take internships, both here in Metro Detroit, at the state capitol in Lansing, and even in Washington, D.C., where we have had students engaged as congressional interns and interns at federal agencies. Finally, students in the political science department have the opportunity to engage in community service through the OU Pontiac Initiative and through the activities of the Oakland University Center for Civic Engagement. Thanks for your interest in the political science department at Oakland University. If I can answer any question for you about our degree programs or the opportunities that are available to our students, please do not hesitate to contact me at the email address that appears here on this slide. Another major at Oakland that you may be interested in is International Studies, which is designed to introduce students to a particular region of the world and to study for it from different perspectives, analyzing or bringing to bear the insights from different disciplines, including history, art and literature, and political science. Now, what exactly is International Studies or how does this work at Oakland University? Well, it's an interdisciplinary program, which means that you take courses from different departments within uh, uh, different disciplines, and you kind of craft together your own ma major. And what um, holds it in common is that all the courses are concerned with a particular region or area of the world. Now, these courses um, will include um, history, classes from political science, from art and art history, 
perhaps from, re from religious studies, from film studies, from literature, as well as an independent study capstone project that students are completed, that are expected to complete. And the major includes or requires three years of foreign language. It really shows that you have a solid grounding and can be functional um, working with people from the region or working in the region itself. Now, I might add that international studies as a major is different from international relations. International relations is a degree that's offered from, from the political science department that's more social science oriented, and it doesn't necessarily focus or on a particular uh, region of the world. International studies, in contrast, is definitely focused or students specialize in a particular region. And the mix of courses may include um, political science, but it tends to be a little bit more focused on culture and the humanities. Now, Oakland offers courses or majors in three world areas. These are Japanese studies, Chinese studies, Latin American studies. Um, the course, uh, the, the, the plan for the major includes 44 credits, which typically is 11 courses. That does not include the language requirement, which is considered a co-rec for this uh, major. The minors are also, are, are also available. They, they are in these three areas, as well as in Middle Eastern studies and Russian and East European studies, and are uh, require only 20 credits, and that includes up to one year of, or eight credits of a foreign language. Now, study abroad is not required for this program, but Oakland does have several studies abroad programs that would be appropriate for these majors and minors, and it's highly encouraged. It's highly encouraged to get some experience in the region, it certainly can improve your foreign language skills. It gives you, you know, you can visualize and actually be in some of the places that you've studied, take advantage of field trips, museums, um, cultural outings, and all of that. And if you're interested in study abroad, I would highly encourage you to look into it. Um, you can begin planning in advance. There are scholarships available that makes it uh, far more doable. And the study abroad office in Oakland can provide you for a variety of different options. And if you're interested in these majors, you can certainly look on the webpage for the Center for International Programs. Now, a question you might ask yourself is why should I major in international studies? And I think, you know, there's several ways of answering that. I think um, one is simply that the world itself is becoming more globalized and interconnected. And we're seeing that here in Michigan, um, not just Southeast Michigan, but Michigan as a whole, more diverse uh, peoples moving here from all corners of the world and cultural expertise or having some knowledge of, of different peoples, languages, cultural backgrounds is something that can be useful not only in daily life, but it was a practical sort of job skill uh, that would be useful for jobs in the private sector, for jobs in government or public sector, um, nonprofits that work with some of these communities, um, teaching, whether that be teaching here or potentially teaching overseas. And I, international studies graduates from Oakland um, are, have been involved in a wide variety of work. Uh, many of them do work overseas, often teaching English is kind of a first job. This is very common for people um, in Japanese studies, for example. Other people have gone, or students have gone on to work with businesses that are involved in foreign trade. Um, we've had people work with cultural nonprofits, including the Arab American Museum, for example, or consulates in Detroit or, or in uh, throughout the United States. We've had some people, for example, one Chinese studies major, um, her language skills were good enough. She got a job as a flight attendant on American Airlines flying between Chicago and Shanghai, um, which she was very excited about. So there's a wide variety of jobs that, that, that people can certainly pursue um, with a degree in international studies. It does certainly demonstrate, I think, uh, a commitment and familiarity with a particular region and if you're interested in particularly going to work in a, in a particular part of the world, this is a, a degree that I would um, think that you strongly should consider. In addition, I would suggest that a minor in international studies is something that's really sort of simple to do, and you can combine it with any major, um, history, psychology, biology, computer science, whatever, and it gives you another sort of credential and perhaps a leg up to say that you're familiar with a certain um, cultural uh, cultural expertise or have some sort of insights or experiences that might be valuable including language skills that might be valuable in various types of jobs so i think international studies is a degree that that certainly has um, its appeal uh, both for students and potential employers 
Um, it has a, international studies has a very long history at Oakland University dating back to its founding. And it's something that if you're interested in you know, the broader world, if you're interested in different cultures, if you're interested in study abroad, um, an international studies degree may be something that would be appropriate for you. Welcome to Go for the Gold. I'm Dr. Malatesta, and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking with you about why Oakland University's Department of Psychology might be the right choice for you. One of the positives of the Department of Psychology at Oakland University is the variety of courses that a student can take. Students are required to take some basic core courses, including Introduction to Psychology, Research Design, and Statistics. But after that, when they get to their advanced courses, they're given a variety um, of classes in five different domains, including Developmental Psychology, Evolutionary Psychology, Behavioral Health, personality and social psychology, and cognition, perception, and biological psychology. You will notice that with our classes, we do have a big emphasis on math and writing. Math and writing are important in psychology, and a lot of students are not necessarily aware of how significant they are to the psychology program. In addition to the variety of classes offered, we also have small classes, and most of our classes are actually taught by faculty members as opposed to graduate students assist uh, graduate student assistants and you'll find that oftentimes with larger research universities because the faculty are in the classroom and are available during office hours really nice relationships develop between students and faculty members and the faculty mentor advising relationships develop students Oftentimes, many of them work directly with faculty members on either student or faculty-led research as well. So that's another benefit. Another opportunity is with our National Honor Society in Psychology. It's called Psychi, and many universities do have it. Ours happens to be very active. We have yearly events um, that um, are engaging, uh, including careers in psychology, getting into graduate school, how to take the GRE or how to prepare for the GRE, but we also bring in guest speakers, speakers who may be working in forensic psychology, they might be clinical psychologists, those who are working in clinics with um, individuals who are on the spectrum doing applied behavior analysis, those that are working in businesses in, as industrial and organizational psychologists, and that's just to name a few. Another really cool opportunity for our students is the internship program. This program started about two years ago and about 50 to 60 students participate each year. It's about um, 150 hours per semester and there's a formal um, paper that they are required to write connecting their experience with psychology. But our students have worked in so many different settings including county courthouses, police departments, they've worked for autism clinics and public schools, centers for gender and sexuality, um, cultural centers, you name it, they're pretty much students have been everywhere. And the positions they've held include human resource assistants and applied behavior analysts. They worked uh, as behavior therapists, so lots and lots of opportunities. We're really proud of this program. Um, mainly because it does give the student an opportunity to kind of see what's out there and see if they are going to like the you know work um, in a specific field before they actually commit to it. In addition, many of the students do discover that um, this is something they'd want to do for their career and several placements have led to job offers. One of the things that Oakland University's psychology department does is prepare students with the necessary skills to be successful in the workplace, workplace and in graduate school. I've heard from career services, um, many compliments from employers saying that our students are prepared with um, what they need to be successful. Um, students who have earned their Bachelor of Arts in, in Psychology have found employment with larger corporations and smaller corporations, but some of them would be, include Chrysler, um, Henry Ford, Hen Havenwick Hospital, and again, the positions vary from human resources to human health services, um, data management, and students ha who have um, received their Bachelor's degree in Psychology from Oakland also have gone on to graduate school at U of M, 
Michigan State University and several um, amazing universities out of state as well. One of the things we do offer to students um, is a class called Success in the Psychology Major. It's a class that either freshmen or sophomore can take. We also highly encourage transfer students to take it to help them get acclimated to the university. Um, the, some of the topics that are included in this class include how to be successful in psychology, in their psychology classes, what they can do with the degree in psychology. It's such a broad field of study, sometimes it's confusing as to what actually can be done. This class points out many, many opportunities. It also talks about um, how to do uh, library searches, how to write APA style papers, and how to get into graduate school. Personally, I've been at Oakland University for 22 years. I love it. I love the campus, but I especially love the program. The faculty members are approachable, and there's so many opportunities. I highly recommend that you consider Oakland University's Department of Psychology. Um, I think it might be the right choice for you. Thank you for listening.